Almost any form of transportation has the never-ending question of, can we make it faster? Our trains turn from steam to magnetic driven, and our primitive internal combustion cars to the magnificent pieces of machinery today. However, our planes seem to be fairly stagnant in terms of speed. We have all the technology to break the sound barrier and travel across the world in a couple hours, but we don't. Clearly this has been attempted before, but we'll come back to that in a second. Firstly, the startup called Boom hopes to change these limits with their plane called Overture. They hope to have the plane fully operational by 2025 and to go commercial by 2029. They also have a one-third size scale model of Overture called XB-1 that is fully built and will be undergoing its first supersonic flight this year. Their goal is to create a plane capable of taking on about 70 to 80 passengers and flying up to 2100 kilometers an hour, all whilst maintaining net carbon zero emissions. Now, as we mentioned before, this is not a new idea. Concord was the very first company to offer a commercial supersonic flight. They were fairly successful in the beginning, building 20 aircraft in total, including six testing aircraft. Cruising at speeds around Mach 2 and logging nearly 18,000 flight hours, a Concorde was an impressive piece of machinery. However, it faced several issues along the way. Most notably was the cost. Tickets were already quite expensive. However, the profit made could not keep up with the cost for fuel. On a typical flight, a Concorde consumed more than 25,000 liters of fuel. Furthermore, consuming that much fuel was not environmentally friendly, which would have been even more of an issue today than compared to 20 years ago. Another problem was that they were only allowed to go supersonic over oceans, as the shockwave was powerful enough to shatter glass. Finally, the crash in 2000 would force the issue-ridden company into retirement. Boom will have to overcome the three problems that Concord faced for it to enter the aviation marketplace. Boom plans on taking on the problem of cost by creating the most efficient design possible, hence the need for the XB-1 prototype. This is most notably seen in the high fineness ratio, which is the ratio between the aircraft's length and width, making it more aerodynamic. Though, like Concorde, it plans on being a luxury brand, with seats costing nearly $5,000 each. As for the carbon footprint, Overture will be running on 100% sustainable aviation fuel, which is fuel derived from food, forestry waste, and even CO2 pulled from the air. The aforementioned products are broken down through a series of processes to their carbon base and bonded with hydrogen to make jet fuel that is atomically identical to Jet Fuel A. This will be done without extracting hydrocarbons from the ground, making it net carbon zero. Finally, the issue of the sonic boom. Researchers have successfully reduced the 105 decibel boom to a 75 decibel thud, and likely similar technology will be employed in Overture to lessen the impact of sonic booms. With the new technologies that Concorde didn't have 20 years ago, and a very promising prototype moving into testing, could Boom become the leading company for commercial supersonic travel? Perhaps traveling around the world in mere hours is on the horizon after all. But until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider subscribing, and I'll see you all soon with a brand new video.